Summary of Hunters in the Snow by Tobias Wolf. On a cold and snowy day in Spokane, a man named Tub, who is, as his name indicates, Tubby, is waiting on the side of the road with a gun in his hands. Suddenly, a truck comes around the corner, swerves, and drives up on the curb, almost hitting Tub. He drops his gun, and two sandwiches and some cookies fall out of his pocket. The truck stops in the end, and Tub walks over to it. Kenny, the truck driver, is laughing so hard because he scared Tub by almost running him over. Tub is mad at Kenny and Frank, who is in the passenger seat, because they are an hour late getting him up. Frank doesn't laugh with Kenny, but he doesn't take Tub's side either. Instead, he tells Tub to be mellow. Kenny and Frank get in the truck with Tub, and the three of them drive out into the country to some woods where they will go shooting. The window was broken by young criminals, so the truck is cold and they have to stop twice for coffee to warm up. They get to the woods, which are the same woods where they have been hunting without success for the past two years. The three men fight because they are cold and irritable, and Kenny promises to tell everyone a secret that Frank told him about a certain babysitter. Frank is mad, but Kenny does nothing but laugh. They went out to hunt. Tub lags behind, trying to get through the fences and slogging through the snow. Kenny and Frank don't help him. Instead, they just watch him suffer. When they haven't found anything after two hours, they stop for lunch. Tub is trying to lose weight, so he doesn't eat much. Frank makes fun of Tub's weight, which makes Kenny laugh again. Tub says that he is fat because of his glands. Frank and Kenny look for tracks on one side of a creek while Tub looks for tracks on the other side. Still unable to keep up, Tub stops looking for tracks and just tries to catch up. They all decide to walk back along Tub's side of the creek because it's getting dark and they haven't seen any deer. Kenny sees some tracks almost right away and tells Tub that he missed them. They follow the tracks, and when they come to a sign that says no hunting, they decide to go to the home and ask the farmer for permission to shoot on his land. Tub gets behind again on the way back to the truck. Tub sits down alone and eats the sandwiches and cookies he didn't eat for lunch. He is tired and down on himself. Kenny and Frank have already started moving, so Tub has to run to catch up to the truck. Kenny goes into the home, and Tub yells at Frank for not standing up for him. He asks Frank about the babysitter, but Frank tells him, mind your own business. Kenny comes back after getting approval from the farmer to hunt on his land. The farmer's dog barks at them, and Kenny, trying to be a dog, barks back until the dog goes away. They try to follow the deer tracks once more, but they get lost in the woods. Kenny is angry and gets into a fight with Frank. The farmer's dog runs out again as they walk back to the farm. Kenny says, I hate that dog and then shoots it. Kenny then looked at Tub and said, I hate you. Tub shoots Kenny in the gut because he thinks Kenny is going to shoot him too. Kenny falls to the ground, while Frank doesn't seem to notice and Tub cries. Tub suggests that they call for help. Tub and Frank leave Kenny bleeding in the snow, but they take his gun and go into the field to find a phone. The farmer knows what's going on and isn't surprised or scared so he lets them in. A pale woman who is sweating is holding a sleeping child inside the house. Frank goes to call an ambulance, and Tub tells the farmer that Kenny shot his dog while Frank is gone. To Tub's shock and horror, the farmer says that he asked Kenny to kill the old, sick dog because it was bothering him. There are no ambulances available, so Frank and Tub decide to drive Kenny the 50 miles to the nearest hospital because there are no paramedics. The woman gives them difficult directions for a way to get there faster. Kenny is carried to the truck by Frank and Tub on some boards. It is dark and slick, and Tub trips and falls. Kenny goes flying and screams in pain. Tub gets angry when Frank calls him a fat moron, so he grabs Frank by the collar and tells him to stop talking to him that way. Frank apologizes. Kenny is put in the back of the truck, and they drive away. Frank tells Tub that if he had been in Tub's place, he would have shot Kenny as well. Because the truck's windshield is broken and it's cold, they stop at a bar to warm up and leave Kenny in the truck. 
Frank tells Tubb in the bar that he is leaving his wife and kids because he is in love with his 15-year-old maid, Roxanne Brewer. Frank worries that Tubb will think he is a complete bastard, but Tubb tells him that he will always be on his side because they are friends. They left once more. Tubb forgot to take the directions to the hospital with him when he went to the bar, but Frank says he can remember how to get there. They get cold again, and to warm up, they stop at a roadhouse. Now it's Tubbs' turn to say what's on his mind. He tells Frank that the reason he is fat is not because of his glands, but because he can't stop eating. Frank gets Tubb four plates of pancakes, smothers them in butter and syrup, and then watches Tubb eat them all. As they keep driving, Tubb tells Frank that the farmer had asked Kenny to kill the dog. Both of them laugh. In the back of the car, Kenny is bleeding, cold, and being driven the wrong way. About the author. Tobias Wolf was born in Alabama in 1945. His parents, Rosemary Loftus and Arthur Samuels Wolf, divorced when he was five. Jeffrey Wolf, Wolf's older brother, moved in with their father, while Tobias Wolf stayed with their mother. Tobias Wolf's mother remarried and moved to Seattle, Washington, after a lot of moving around. Wolf went to Concrete High School in the North Cascades and then the Hill School in Pennsylvania. He was later kicked out of the Hill School because he lied on his application. Wolf served in the Army during the Vietnam War. After that, he went to Oxford to study English and graduated in 1972. In 1975, he got an MA in Creative Writing, and then he started teaching, first at Syracuse University and then at Stanford. Wolf found time to write even though he was a teacher. In 1975, he published his first book, Ugly Rumors, and in 1981, he published his first collection of short stories, In the Garden of the North American Martyrs. In this book, there was a short story called Hunters in the Snow. The Barracks Thief, a short story he wrote in 1985, got the 1985 P.N. Faulkner Award. He wrote two diaries, three collections of short stories, and a book in the years that followed. Wolf now lives in California with his wife and three kids. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.